One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. This here is a video of redoing the wheels on this truck. I'm not gonna take them off the truck and I'm gonna do a pretty dang good job of it. I'm not gonna take them off, I'm just gonna do them on the truck. I'm not gonna tape off the tires. Um, I'm gonna do this other method where you have somebody hold something. Um, works pretty good for me. And like I say, I'm not gonna sand the rim down, the wheel. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick steel wooling, but that's about it. I'm just gonna spray right over what we got. That's the deal. Um, all the stuff that I use, you can find on my Amazon Associates store. Link down below. I think I make a couple percent if somebody buys something. Depends on the item. Um, but yeah, that's that. Enjoy. All right, same degreaser. Make sure and get you a tire brush. If you ain't got a tire brush, oh, I didn't even wet this down. You need one. But, you know, I don't know what kind of videos to do in whole. I mean, this is just a daily job type thing, but some people do like seeing things come together. And for those people, I guess that's why I've got Google Glass, huh? Just keep making some videos. This degreaser melts stuff you don't even see off. I'm gonna take it one step further. Okay, same degreaser again on the wheel. And don't let this touch your water, but I've got a piece of steel wool and I'm just gonna really quickly steel wool this down. I'm not gonna bother with doing 400, any of that stuff, sanding it at all. In fact, I'm not even gonna take these tires off the truck. I'm gonna do it right here on the truck, and in fact, I'm not even gonna tape them off. The only thing I'm gonna tape off on these is a little air snorkel thing, intake valve. But that's that, just a quick steel wooling of each tire, making sure to get, now, you know, steel wool is amazing. It takes this rusty top surface stuff off. If they weren't so chipped up, it'd be fine. But I want these to look a little better and talk about what's actually here. Be careful with this plastic and the steel wool will mess it up. So this ain't gonna be a perfect wheel painting job or nothing like that, but it will be a nice addition to this truck. Wow, it looks better just like that. Amazing the difference between this just being cleaned and this not being cleaned at all. It's not, I've already cleaned these with the steel wool and everything. And this side I've already got done. So I'll show you how I did it. And easy way without taking them off the truck, which, you know, it probably most people would say it's not the right way, but it's the way that I'm doing it. I have duct tape and this paper. You can use newspaper, whatever you find. But, wow, this just sat on there one day. And it got a ring on it from the sun. Bleaching out the paper, I think, huh? I just take this stuff and put it like a tiny bit hanging over. There's no real wrong way. And then these center caps are the main thing. And I'm wanting to preserve here, if you will. And this paper is rigid at first. And I've got a wrinkle in it, which don't help. Okay. Just slip it in there. This is only two Chevy wheels, but you might have another kind of wheel that has the same kind of center cap. If you do, this will undoubtedly work just the same. Oops. 
And the idea is to get it far enough up there. <laughs> and there we go. I always put an X of tape over it where it stays put somewhat and doesn't get in my way. This one, this side, is giving me trouble. So I'm gonna tape it up a little differently. I like it. To make sure you get a good job, always cover your valve stem. That's the number one thing that'll keep it looking. It makes it look better. You paint, you, you paint it the same color as the wheel, and then it's gonna look painted. Okay, I'm gonna do this without using any kind of tape. I'm just gonna spray it. Honestly, the primer almost looks the same color. But I'm gonna do them in like a, a silver like this. And so this is gonna always give me a more even job to put a little primer on it. Oops, I'm telling you, painting over these stinking valve stems is a costly mistake. It just makes it look like you painted the wheels, <laughs> plain and simple. So, And as you can see, I'm not being cocky enough to try to paint that outer rim or ring. Boom. Done. And I'll show you the rest. It takes two people. No, no, you got to get it in the hole. Now turn this way. There you go. Keep going. Turn it again. Take it, grab it, and turn it, and turn it, and turn it, and turn it, and no, the other way. No, this way. There you go. Hang on, we gotta get it back in. Let's go. Almost. Now we can take it out like this. Here, here. You wanna use the tool, huh? Take it out. Whoa! You want to put it back together? Not yet. We're gonna take this one out. Yep. Can I also do that job? Yeah, you could do it by yourself, though. Yeah. You gotta keep it turning. Keep it turning. No, no, no not that way. We gotta unloosen it. Okay, go ahead. Yay! Now you want to pull that out? Pull that out. Okay, we'll take this off. And now we need the other one. Right there. You can take this one off. There. Push it on there nice and tight to where you don't strip it out. You ready to paint? This side or the other? That way. Lucy. Lefty Lucy. Righty tighty. You've known that for three years, kid. Come on. Sorry. I was shaking paint yesterday, so now Vlad's shaking paint. Man, he's Did you get it? Better 
jog them. Did you get it? Well, he was shaking it harder. Okay, that's that. Just put it up top. Don't let it fall. All right. Got the wheels primered for the most part. And I realized I can't live with this grill. And all there is to take it out is two screws here. There's a bolt behind here in the grill that Vlad wants to take out. There's one here, one here. Same thing on the other side. Can you move? Yes. And then one here, and the two here you take out. That's it. There's a tab down in these. Which you should be able to push and get it out. That should be it in the middle. Come on, buddy. You got it. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we get in there? There you go. Okay, now I gotta find the paint again. <laughs> okay, so part two of doing this takes two people, and I got everything pretty much where I want it. And so I'm just gonna give it a second check and start spraying. From the inside out, from the outside in. What are you crying about? What's up, babe? Index cards may work on some. It just depends on the actual rim. And on this one, that wasn't working. And this two-person method is a bit more intense to get two people, but... Oh man, it was perfect. And it'll fall out of place many times before you get it. Just be patient and work it in. And that's it. For this kind of stuff, I always use the hammered paint because it gives you a unique finish and it goes on really easy. Probably got to go the other side. Oh, that'll work. Jeez. <laughs> doesn't want it. I think maybe when it gets wet too, it gets a little weirder. You like? Yeah. Shaky. Shake a lot. Let Vlad do it too when he gets wants to. He'll want to at some point. <coughs> I got another so they could both be shaking.
I like it. And that's it. That's a done deal. Looks good. If you use the hammered paint, it gives it a little bit of a textured feel. And it really looks good that way. That's just all there is to say about it. I got the grill off. I'm going to do that next, paint it up. But they're looking good. They look like a million bucks compared to what they did look like.